5G Smart is a collaborative EU project with the goal of showing how 5G can boost smart manufacturing. 5G is getting a really interesting technology. It will connect things in the Internet of Things. And that's why it will help us to automize our plans. Uh, also our semiconductors and sensor plans here in Reutling and the one in Dresden. In 5G Smart, we want to investigate the challenges but also the opportunities that 5G brings in a production facility. Therefore, we have installed an Ericsson 5G network at Bosch inside their fully operational semiconductor factory. Transportation is an essential part of production in any high-tech factory. At the Reutlingen factory, material transport is partially or fully automated. Driverless mobile robots support the workers on the factory floor. With 5G, robot control can be moved to the edge cloud. In the 5G Smart project, we're taking robot cloudification to its extreme. We have developed a research robot for which we have moved the entire control stack into the cloud. Another use case is about TSN and industrial LAN. We want to see how we can connect our production equipments to the Bosch network and how we can control the production equipments via 5G instead of copper in terms of speed, data volume, stability and performance. We investigate low latency 5G communication between two controllers on the factory floor. We also investigate large data transfer between a machine and its backend server in the cloud. 5G connected machines and controllers enable a more flexible production environment and could also reduce maintenance cost. In addition to the use cases, 5G Smart is also running two measurement campaigns. The first measurement campaign is investigating the 5G radio signal propagation in the production environment. We are talking about a very complicated environment. It's a large clean room environment with a lot of metallic objects everywhere. This creates trouble for us in terms of blocking because it's when blocked by heavy machinery, we get some signal attenuation there. But it also creates opportunities so that we actually can bounce on the objects in order for the signal to reach from the transmitter to the receiver. We have measured at two different frequency bands at 28 gigahertz high band and at a 3.6 gigahertz mid band using specific test equipment from Lund University. The results for mid band are very promising. We can achieve good coverage across the entire factory floor. At the high band, blocking is more challenging and therefore we have to make a more careful design of the base station deployment or have a denser deployment of base stations. The second measurement campaign of 5G Smart investigates any potential influence from the 5G signal on sensitive products and test equipment in the factory. Ericsson Research has developed a test setup that can be used in a controlled way to generate 5G signals for electromagnetic compatibility tests. The levels of electromagnetic fields of 5G are well below the limits set by international and national health authorities and a typical human exposure is expected to be far below these values. However, industrial environments, sometimes there are equipment, devices and processes that may be sensitive also to very low levels of electromagnetic fields. The results of those tests show that most of the devices and the processes in the factory are not impacted by the 5G signals, even at very short distance. At the trial site in Reutlingen, we're working together to demonstrate and validate the impact of 5G for new manufacturing use cases. Our close collaboration opens up for new ideas, research topics and solutions. The importance really with, with the collaboration with Bosch here is the possibility to do this in a, in a fully operational factory floor. So we have this 24-7 operation. And with that will give us a lot of real-life learnings.